Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel Inspo Vibes with SK. So today's video is a very special one. How to apply this Pareto's principle in our relationships, in our personal lives. So all of us, don't we want to get more by doing less? Put less effort and get more results. Do little but get uh, more benefits. Yes, all of us would like to. So that's how is the thought behind today's video. How can we do less and get more? Which means 20% uh, efforts can bring us 80% results. The key lies in knowing where is this 20% effort required? What is it that we need to do? What is part of this 20% that will give me 80% results or the consequences? Right? So before I start, let me ask you one question. If I were to ask you to look back on your life so far and tell me, count how many times you were really happy those moments would be few right although we have lived years and years and decades then how come out of the decades of our life that we have lived the happy moments are uh, maybe in hundreds that's because most of the time we get into such a monotonous rut of life from day to night we wake up we get busy we are controlled by timetables we are controlled by schedules we are controlled by people and things and activities and responsibilities that we need to take care of so i want to stay here today take a moment relook at your typical day Relook at who are the drivers of your day. Relook at are there any people or things or thoughts that are time thieves? They are stealing away your time, which could have been invested in things that were important. So, till about a decade ago, I was also a typical professional juggling between home and work trying to do my best everywhere and trying to balance so many balls in the air invariably i'm not a superwoman some balls would fall and that would impact my confidence that would get me so upset and i would be worried and it started to affect me that i'm not good enough if i was doing well at work there would be some homeworks that i missed with my children and I would go on a guilt trip. If I went out for a get together with my team, I would miss out on maybe a family dinner and again go on a guilt trip. If I chose to take a back seat and do a little uh, less hectic career and focus more on the home, then as the children grew, they needed their space. And I started to feel a little kind of, you know, not so required. Oh, that was the time this gentleman, Alfredo, yes, I'm sorry, Wilfredo Pareto stepped into my life and showed me the way how I could improve not only things at my workplace, but also improve the relationships around me that mattered. So that's what I'm going to share today. Right. So what he says in very simple words that there are things that we need to do there are relationships that we have doing those 20 percent things that will give us 80 percent qualitative improvement and benefit is the key to being more successful more strong more powerful and happier in your relationships so we need to figure out which are those relationships 
that are important to us and what is it in those relationships that only we can do which nobody else can substitute and make time for that so a very three simple three step formula that i have devised for myself first and foremost prioritize the activities and responsibilities and the things that you do every day prioritize and pick out those that only you can do and delegate the rest to others second prioritize the relationships that are most important to you uh, that are very close to you third thing is declutter your timetable your calendar reorganize your things in such a way that you are able to create time for investing in these relationships that are important to you right am i making sense or is it a little confusing okay let's take an example here okay now uh, my daughter when she is a baby till about 5 years of age most of the time what does she need from me is more of biological needs she needs my physical presence more in order to feed her in order to bathe her in order to change her in order to uh, teach her how to walk teach her how to talk teach her uh, help her to get dressed and all her little little needs why because she is too tiny to take care of those needs herself but now when she switches into being a teenager she doesn't need me for her biological needs or her physiological needs what does she need me for she needs me for emotional requirements right so when as a teenager she is going through relationships around her with her friend circle with her teachers with her peer group so there'll be innumerable questions coming there are bodily changes happening which she is clueless about and she only can ask me then there are things about uh, questions about what will she do when she grows up what is it that uh, she should be focusing on so many things uh, including her hairstyle and those are the things that she needs to talk to me if at that time i am too busy with my work or i am too busy making dinner or i am too busy attending phone calls and talking to my other relatives right and i tell her okay okay we'll talk park it for now we'll talk later many times that later does not happen i forget or i get too tired i don't have the energy i don't have the patience i don't have the free time to give her my qualitative inputs so what happens the closest relation for me is a parent child relationship and i let it go i was too busy juggling so many other balls which i thought were important but they are not as important now do you get the connection that's why i say apply this 80 20 rule to your relationships to identify which are those relationships that are important make quality time for those relationships invest your time in those relationships so when i say quality time i don't mean drop everything else i mean give them your 100% whenever you do that so you invest 20% effort in those and you get 80% result from those and when your close circle relationships are strong you are happy in those believe me it does amazing things to your confidence to your aura to the way you conduct yourself and to the way you go and deal with all the other issues which are part of those 80%
Like in the workplace, we always as managers and leaders will pick on the crisis that we want to get involved because we will get involved to provide the value add. We will not get into the routine BAU or the business as usual kind of crisis because for that we have the other team members delegated to them. Give them the opportunity to figure out those. You step in when it involves only you to be able to resolve things. So bring that to home, to all your relationships. Pick out those close relationships where only you can contribute to make them strong. Work on those. Declutter your routine in such a way that you make time for those important relationships and see how they bloom. So, we do more by doing less actually. So, if you can understand and figure out that, that is the essence of Pareto's principle and how easily applying this simple time-tested principle of the workplace to your relationships, you can make your relationships from good to awesome from being yeah cool to being rocking and is there anyone who doesn't want their relationships to be rocking i guess not so all right you people that's it from my side for today and do practice pareto's rule of 80 20 20 percent effort into those priority things will give you 80 percent results Unfortunately, we get stuck with putting 80% effort into things that are not priority and end up getting only 20% result leading to so much of frustration. Rework, redo, rejig, relook at your priorities, your priority relationships. Try this rule and rock it. So I'll be happy to listen to your comments any questions any experiences do write back do share and if you like this video don't forget to click on the thumbs up share it with those around you so that it, it can benefit many more people and keep watching inspo vibes with sk till we meet again next wednesday here's sk signing off saying adios bye bye and take care mm -hmm.